What do you do when you lose your firstborn child and it affects your wife? How do you cope with stress in your marriage? Today, we get to meet a couple as we talk about these important issues. Welcome to Decoded. My name is Dayan Masinde. I am a relationship and marriage coach. Every week, I sit down with different couples to find out what issues in their relationship or their marriage they need decoded. Welcome. Uh, I'm Martin Kairio Kimojo uh, from Meru. This is my lovely wife. Uh, she can introduce herself. My name is Rachel Kangai. I'm also from Meru, but living in Nairobi. This is my, <laughs> my husband. And uh, this is our daughter. She is Rose Michelle. Father, we met in 2017. She was coming to Nairobi. For, I think for a job interview, nilikuwa natoka sales, delivery sales from Meru. Meru, Meru town to Anchuka. So alikuwa somewhere in, around Chuka, Dagani. So, ni compare lift, aka, aka ringa kidogo si exist, because I think uh, to her I was just a stranger. So, we agreed Alipe, Alipe the 500 that was supposed to be paid for transport, uh, in that Akae tu kama abiria wa kawaida. She agreed. Then, uh... Okay, at first, nilikuwa nakata, because, you know, to me, he was a stranger. But then, uh, I think that's the time I niambia, I, I know you, I'm from these areas, I'm from Midero. So, just come. I'll give you the ride. Actually, on our way, to, to, to keep to keep Peter Peter on our way now, on our way to Embu, she is a bit free with me. Nikamambia, by the way, I know you. You know that Kamit Kale Wanaume Usema, you look familiar. Kamambia, you know, I've been waving you pale kwa Facebook. And uh, unakuanga unarenga, na kutumia ka wave, unarenga. Eh, but now this is Martin, but when you uh, as we proceed, wacha tuende tukijua, tukijua na more and more and more. Kufika moya then the trick in me had to come to come because this is a, we, we call it a, a live opportunity. Na unajua when umepata bibi, mungu wakiku direct to, to a good wife, you have to be smart. I went to America, America quick shop and I bought, as I picked the, the check, I bought one lollipop. That one lollipop, ni compare. Then she can proceed what happened. <laughs> Okay, at first I was like, okay, why do you have to buy one lollipop yet to go wheelie? So you could have bought two. But uh, I can be, uh, you know, unaeza tu, anza tu, then ukimalizia, utanipia tu nitamalizia. Yeah, I came with that idea, uh, sharing is, is it sharing is caring or loving is sharing? Yes. Yeah, so kufika somewhere keno, nikamambia haya, you almost through with my lollipop, bring it, I share. So ni kachukua, then ni kamambia, wow, you've even kissed me before, we've been, even uh, as you have accepted to be my girlfriend. I can be like, Lily? Vila wan, Lily? Ni kamambia, yeah, I think I'm, 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 I've already tested your saliva, because si likuwa kwa lollipop. So we came to Nairobi, after arrival, I was supposed to attend for an interview the following day. So ni ka attend the interview. Nika Peter, but then the funny part was after Nika I'm going to report job that the following Monday I didn't report, so maybe I think as young only report kwa nyumba yake. Yeah, that was on a, was on a Saturday, and before we parted, I can Nika mumbia. Would you kindly allow to be my girlfriend? Ata kama ni ile ya kuwak. To me face a lot of challenges, and. Uh, the worst of all the challenges, I think it's when I lost my baby. I lost my first kid. And uh, it wasn't that easy. I had to go through, I went through hell. I went through a lot. I got depressed. And 
Okay, as for me, I think that was the worst I experienced. Yeah, she was really, really affected on that until she had to come, come from top of 74 kgs to managing 40 kgs. That was not a joke. Yeah. Apart from Rose that has maybe resurrected Daki Dogo, Akarudi yeah, Prince has always been in her mind, in her mind, in her mind, until Rose came. And uh, that was the most challenging, uh, challenging right. part. now time for me to have a conversation with this amazing couple here at the Trademark Hotel. Ish, hey, look at you too, Simna Pendeza. Hey, it's <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You're welcome, man. Yeah. Now you're telling me this, this is the Kitenge you wore during the customary wedding. Yes. Ini kazi ya nani? Kazi yangu. Kazi yako? Yes. Hey, unamurembesa? Aliweza, aliweza. Aliweza. Kabisa. And then you're telling me you, you are not a Kitenge guy. Um, Ulkule we'll taliwa. Hey, Mr. Kabisa. Kitenge. This is... The person, the only person when you have to do a kitenge. Yeah. And now in uh, the wardrobe, I have three. You have three? Three vitengas? Uh, uh -huh. uh, I have <laughs> never even imagined to do a kitenge. Okay. And okay. at the level, I think we need to say, do a kitenge? When do we say? Now, before I talk to Nembali, people want to find out, why did you agree to go on a trip, on a ride with a stranger? Actually, I can't tell. You can't even tell? I can't even tell. Yeah. I don't know what it happened, yeah. but maybe it will come to Mungu. Yes. How can you have with a complete stranger and then you end up falling in love with him? Kitu sita sijai fanya, actually. Mimi kwanza lift. Unanipea lift. How now? And it's not just a short distance. It will come from Meru to yeah, it's Nairobi. Nairobi. Yeah, it's 240 kilometers. 240 kilometers yeah. with a complete stranger. <laughs> and then for Gary, you fall in love. <laughs> hey, you two have an amazing story. <laughs> that, was, that was really beautiful. That was really beautiful. Yeah. Now, by the time that now you two are starting to live together, and then you go to Daniel and Doha, and then you did now the customary uh, marriage and all. Now, you told me something uh, that you went to Meru, and then you went to Kupika, Kumshinda. And then you're cooking something, then a certain gentleman said something. Yeah, actually, this thing uh, even happened a, a week ago. Yeah. And to go up home, yeah. at my grand's place, which is a home quite mm. uh, Then uh, there's a baby, there's the wife, and uh, we have to, you know, you have to share responsibilities. Yeah. Yeah. So, mm. Nikamombia, ah, Mandizi ni mingi, wacha tutumania kanyama, to pick an Mandizi, the way she should like. Yes. You know, when you're there, you remember him so much. So, Natuviazi. So, a guy comes and he's like, Karis. Yani we unachonga viazi eh karizi ni mimi. Yani yeah. unachonga viazi na una na hata mandizi na hiyo ma hiyo ma, nini yani ni the stains of these bananas. Yeah. Wewe ndio umeolewa ama <laughs> bibi ndiye. I actually you want to understand like <laughs> can I also marry you? I mean you the guy. Sure. <laughs> so yeah, I yeah. can cook for him. Yeah, he said can cook for him. And he, he was astonished that a male man yes. can do mandizi. Yeah. Achonge viazi. Mm a pique na a serve food yeah. but uh, to me in a relationship it's it's not about a uh, wife akifanya mm. it's it's about sharing responsibilities mm, sure. because let's say for example god forbid yeah. my wife is unwell yes sasa nitaendea sister yangu akuja anipikula because at mimi ni mmevu i i hata mean kwanza that didn't you tengeneza chakula mzuri because also you when you share this responsibility, me actually, let me go to an extent that kuna katia ata yu kuwa like anuel. Yeah. Ana mbia ki, nguwa za mtu hizi ko, ziko chafu. Yeah. Na muli, hiyo tu. Lunafuwa. Yeah, exactly. Wow. The, na, na, nothing is wrong with nothing that. Nothing is wrong with that. That is, you, you, that you is my responsibility. You're serving your family. And uh, if you don't serve your family, who will you serve better? Ah, my sure. goodness. I love that. Repeat that again. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't serve your family, then who can you serve better? Oh my goodness. Now, after I look at you, now you're just sitting like a queen. How does it feel <laughs> to cook for Sazingine? It feels nice. It feels nice, right? Eh? Yes. Uh -huh. Look yeah. at you even glowing. You're like, uh huh. <laughs> 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 now, you mentioned that there was a very, very tough moment that yeah. you, when you actually got a child. And you mentioned that you already even had a child for this first one, who passed on. Yeah. Uh, what was the name that you had given this child? Uh, the pri uh, prince. Actually, prince. It, it was her. Bian. I will call him Prince. Yeah. Yes. So you were pregnant? I was pregnant. Yeah. Actually, 
I had prepared. I was very much prepared. Yeah. Like nguo, everything is a shopping zamtoy. Yes. And I a Gina. Yeah. So, so you knew it was a boy. Yes, yes. I knew it was a boy. And then you're telling me there was a time when now when you're in the hospital, now when your your husband was placing his hand on your womb, what was happening to Prince? Uh, that moment I'll call Yeah. But then, uh, let's say, the whole night, uh, I haven't set my eyes on him, mm. no, my husband. Yeah. I'll call him Sana. That is the baby now. The baby. Mm. Yeah. But the moment I'm going to call him, then uh, actually, I'm going to call him time because maybe the previous night I didn't sleep well. Wow. So the hand of your husband, the hand of Martin, was calming the baby and yes. also calming you. Yes. Actually, even uh, the, 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 the patient around, uh, the ladies now, you, you know, it's now a, a women, uh, is it a ladies' word? Yeah. yeah. It's the maternity. Yeah. They had given me a leeway. Ukiskia kukaka, ulale kwa kitanda kidogo, please, just do it. Just for the sake and the pain of your wife. Yeah. Because to keep in there's nothing we can do. Oh, it's only you who looks like the medicine. Yeah. And at, at times, we're going to mulisa, what is happening in that? Even... At the middle of the night, and utapigiwa, unambiwa, bibi yako ayuko mzuri, you rush to the hospital, you just go and press the hand, I love her. She does it off. Yeah. yeah. And what happened that day when, she, when the baby died, when he died? What happened? But, uh, I, I don't even know whether she can remember, but uh, I got a call. Yeah. I think she had said somebody, I think... Uh, what happened? There was a certain injection on the pair, so I think uh, they forgot that day. Yeah. And then I, okay, the injection was to, to prevent the rubber pains. So the moment I cosad your injection, mm. I got the rubber pains. pains. Yes. And then things started. Meaning, mtoto wana kuja. And this, yes. the baby was how the pregnancy was how many months? Six months. Six, six and a half. Six, six and a half. half. Yeah. yeah. And here you have your six and a half month old baby, and complications are starting. Yes. Actually, we were, we were advised to hold on for the next two, two weeks, weeks so that they can, they will know how to do it, so that the kid can survive. They wow. will know how to do it wow. with incubation and something like that. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, something very heartbreaking happened uh, when their wonderful son, Prince, passed on. So stay tuned here on Decoded and you shall find out what exactly Martin and his wife did. Stay tuned to Decoded. Decoded.